Mr. Speaker, I can say without any doubt that President Akufuado and Vice President Alaji Baumia, who promised to transform our country within 18 months, have been a monumental failure. They simply promised heaven and they have delivered hell. Mr. Speaker, President Akufuado and Alaji Baumia pretend not to see the mess that they have created. They still live in a bubble of denial over the state of our country. Our reality today stands in a, sharp con in a sharp contrast from the glossy picture the President depicted during the State of the Nation. Those who, failed, who held lectures on textbook management of the economy have been in charge of Ghana's economy for the last seven years. Despite resolving all issues of the economy at the lectures, the reality is that the economy has collapsed on the watch of Dr. Bahumia and the, the Chief Lecturer. To say this government record has been poor and abysmal is a gross misunderstatement. It's a gross understatement. Mr. Speaker, this explains why businesses are folding up left, right, and center under this outrageously high interest rate regime. It is almost impossible for businesses to assess financing. This is the most resourced government ever in the history of this country. Mr. Speaker, this government in seven years have received over 925 billion Ghana cities, equivalent to 134.4 billion, including this amount excludes government grants. So Speaker, taxes alone, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. They have received taxes worth 477.9 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, aside that, they have borrowed another 447.3 billion Ghana cities. The Speaker, total resource envelopes, taxes and borrowing, and this amount excludes government grants, amounted to 925.2 billion Ghana cities in seven years. The Speaker, if you were to convert this to the prevailing exchange rate, this government in seven years have received 134.3 Billion, Ghana, billion U.S. dollars. Mr. Speaker, this is enough to transform our country. Yet, Mr. Speaker, they have, only, they have only given us an economic disaster. Mr. Speaker, the question that everyone is asking is, Nasikano Wahin, what have they used the money for? And Mr. Speaker, it's important that we ask this question. And I urge His Excellency the President to render account to the people of Ghana how they have used this money. Mr. Speaker, Numbers they say don't lie.